right, Sasha, thanks for joining us today. Getting ready to head up to the WNBA draft on Monday, 2 p.m. on ESPN. It's at the ESPN headquarters. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts heading into, into that? I'm just really excited. Um, it's, on, it's first and foremost um, a very, very, you know, prestigious event that I'm very honored to be invited to. So I'm just very honored and very grateful and ready to just embrace this new experience. What does it mean being one of, you know, just 15 people selected <laughs> to go up to ESPN for, to be there live for the draft? Um, for me personally, it means that all my hard work over the past four years didn't go in vain. You know, I set the goal to become a better player than I was the year before, and every year I stuck to that goal, and it got the recognition throughout my senior year, and that's when it, like, finally, like, start thriving and coming to its own. So, I mean, for me, it just shows that my hard work has paid off, and it's kind of like a reward for everything that I've done over the past season. Can you talk a little bit about your senior season, you know? most ACC wins in school history, most wins in school history, first Sweet 16. Have you had any time to reflect on that at all and, and what it meant to you? Um, I have had time to reflect on it. and Honestly, I just feel like it was just a great moment that I'm just humble and honored to have been a part of. Um, I've, in the preseason, that's five seniors, we wanted to leave this program take it higher than it's ever been before. And our goal was we're not going to just outdo the seniors before us. We're going to take a step further. No, we didn't want to just finish with 25 wins more than the last class before. We wanted to like do something more special. And because of the fact that we actually made it to 26 wins and not only nine losses, I mean, that just goes to show we've had the least losses in school history with nine. Every year we've finished something 10, something 10, something 10. So to finally hit that mark where we reached 26 and nine was very, in its own, was a humbling experience. And then to have made it to the Sweet 16 was just like the icing on the cake. It's something that five, five freshmen has been trying to do for our um, seniors in the previous years before us. We've been always trying to get over that hump, trying to get over that hump. And for how the underclassmen came in and embraced it for this season and took us to the Sweet 16, you know, with the performance through Sydney Wallace, Tyana Marshall, um, even the players on the bench, like whatever role they were given, they were all ready and collectively ready to go and like make this goal happen. So for me, it was just honor to have been the seniors to have done it to be a part of that senior class and it was just a great experience and it's really kind of been the motto of your guys's class to we want to leave this program in better hands and in better shape than what we left it and so what does it mean to you having looking back kind of over your career and each year doing things that had never been done before and then really capping it with this season I mean, honestly, it's a tribute. It's a tribute to all the Georgia Tech alumni players that have came in before me that have left blood, sweat, and tears into the program and that reached, that could only go so far, you know, like that put in their their homage and that put in the hard work and for only the program to go so far. You know, we just reflected back and was like, we want to take this program nationally. We want everyone to know who Georgia Tech women's basketball is by the end of the year. And honestly, I mean, it's just an um, unreal but very humbling experience to have done it. I mean, it just goes to show you for all the past seniors that have pushed me, that have personally helped me, and even alumni that I've met that I didn't get the chance to play with. Um, for me, it's just like a great thank you for them, for us to have accomplished this season. Look back a little, now looking for the WNBA draft coming up and WNBA season, what are your goals going forward? Um, my goal is same as my goal was in college, just to become a better player than I was the year before. Around this time next year, I want to be better than the player I am now. My main focus is to go in and do the things that got me there, which was hard work, dedication, you know, being coachable. It's just the little things, paying attention to the details, knowing what the coaches want, knowing how to play with the players. So um, that's my main focus going in. It's just, you know, going in, becoming coachable, and just starting this new chapter in my life and learning more. Going up to the draft, there's a lot of, you know, really good players that are also going to be there. Do you th what do you think that'll be like, uh, you know, getting to kind of hang out with them not on the basketball court? <laughs> Um, I feel like it will be a very interesting experience for the simple fact that it's 15 of us, 15 of the players that, you know, people have put in as the elite players of the country that are going to the WNBA draft. And I feel like, you know, that's where great friendships are made and, you know, that's where, you know, you get to learn a little bit more about the players that you've actually seen on TV play before. So, I mean, I'm very excited. Sasha, having come from Mississippi to Georgia Tech and now onto WNBA, just I mean, what does, you know, your story's kind of been told a few times. What is, uh, what do you think of that? 
Um, I'm just very honored that people want to hear my story told so many times. Um, honestly, I just just thinking about it. I mean, it just kind of just makes me feel like really happy and overwhelmed with joy because you know my mom. She being a single parent, she always wanted the best for us. She always wanted us to do better than she did, and that was her goal. Was I want you to be better than me? I want you to you know be better than me, do better, do more. Like go to college, go to college for four years, get a degree. You know, do what you want and do what you're passionate about. And my passion is basketball. For so for me to be able to actually go to the WNBA and not have my basketball end with my collegiate season and career, it just means a lot to me and it's just kind of overwhelming once I think about it. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sasha, and good luck on Monday at the draft. Thank you.